Hello friends, Tal here and welcome to another Overwatch beta quick guide, this time focusing on the one and only rocket hammer wielding badass Reinhardt. Now this man brings a rocket hammer to a goddamn gunfight. If you need any other convin any more convincing to play him or that he's amazing, I don't even know what to say to you. Anyways, here with all my quick, uh, my quick guides here for the Overwatch beta, I want to go ahead and emphasize that Overwatch is a game that is meant to be played switching out characters in the middle of the moment depending on your enemy team, your team, map, and the situations, advantages, disadvantages that you can exploit. That's why I go ahead and take a look at all these uh, heroes and their abilities and talk about them in the practice range that I also want to highlight because I think it's a wonderful addition that Blizzard has added to the game and that I haven't really seen a lot of talk about. It's a great place to try out all your abilities. It's a great place to just play and practice heroes and practice your aiming even if you want to change your sensitivity, things like that. Uh, but anyways, today we're taking a look at another tank hero, Reinhardt. Now Reinhardt is unique in that he doesn't have any projectiles besides one ability that he, he has a very long cooldown on, and he uses a rocket hammer and a shield to basically defend and disrupt the enemy team. He is a durable tank, he has a lot of health, 500, half of it is armored. He has that rocket hammer that just basically does wide arcs of AoE damage that can one-shot heroes such as D.Va that have 150 health. He will basically two-shot anything at 200 health and one-shot anything at 150 health. His ultimate is Earth Shatter. He, stams, he, he stomps his hammer down on the ground. I don't know what I was trying to go for there, but words are hard. But he smashes his hammer down on the ground, stunning enemies in a sort of cone in front of him, leaving them vulnerable to enemy attacks, to your shift ability, which is a charge that just smashes you forward and picks up and pins an enemy hero in front of you, or even just to your rocket hammer swings. Again, his shift ability charges him for, forward, pins any enemy heroes to him, knocks other heroes away, and can one-shot people. It also rockets you a good distance. Beware. You can rocket to your death. You don't have an ability to stop it while you've started it, and if you do it on edge, you will just fall off the edge and die. It's pretty funny. You can take out an enemy hero with you if you really feel the need to, but otherwise you need to be very careful with it. His second ability is the Fire Strike, just launches a sort of... Um, half circle just projectile it's slow moving it's not too fast but it is able to be um, deflected by genji and nullified by diva uh, but it still does a lot of damage from long from a long uh, distance uh, his secondary fire i guess you might say is a barrier field he puts up a big blue shield in front of him that will stop damage coming in and allow your and your friendly team to shoot through it does have a separate amount of health it's about 2000 it's amazing, it recharges if it gets broken, it's wonderful, it's absolutely wonderful, but it makes you a big, easily, easy to see target, and then it, it kind of zooms your camera out to the back, and makes you vulnerable to attacks from behind. And his primary weapon is the rocket hammer, it just swings and destroys people. So let's take a look, he does not have a melee ability, because his normal fire is a melee. As you can see here, huge wide arcs, able to do a lot of damage, let's go ahead and come up close, boom, boom, boom. Three hits. <coughs> Three hits, murders both of those training bots. Wonderful. We're going to go ahead and take a look at his secondary ability here. If I aim it there, boom, shoot it. Look at that damage. Actually, yeah, it does about half of his health. And then if I go ahead and get cheeky, just shift right into him. Will I hit him? Oh, I did. I think I just barely made the range. It does have a lim um a min like a maximum rage so it's not like you'll just go on forever and ever and ever i want to go ahead and demonstrate this i don't think i'm going to hit that wall but if you can see here yeah i stopped right before i didn't even get to do the impact you can see here but i mean that's still a very very big range that you can use but you should know that there is a limit now again his fire strike does a lot of damage it stops on a single impact i believe and i'll go ahead and get that checked out now kill that do that I want to see if it'll... This might not be the best place to check. We're going to go over here. I want to see if his fire strike will go through enemies or if it'll just stop at the first person hit. Uh, stationary targets is probably better. I want to go ahead and make sure I get a really good test out of this. So we're going to go over here to this poor bot that's just getting murdered. And we're going to stand right here. Okay, so it did go through because it did damage there and it did damage there. So it'll go through to your enemies. And then you have, of course, his signature ability, his shield. It is able to block the shots. 
you can see there just, just soaking it up does not recharge while you have it out but it will stop the enemy team's projectiles and it will get soaked up in this little shield but if you walk over here the friendly team shots will still go through so it's very very useful all in all Reinhardt is the prototypical tank he's a melee does a lot of melee damage can put up a shield to block and hits for his uh, for his friendly team and just just soaks the damage his shift ability with its ability his shift ability with its pinning is very useful for just bringing something along with you if you're trying to get out of the way it's amazing for bastions and just pesky heroes that you need to lock down if you can manage to get a genji or a tracer with that pin you will just outright murder them and also stop them from moving and then finally his ultimate which is fantastic brilliant brilliant thing here hammer as you see here it reached all the way over there but it did not hit this one so it is a cone it's a very wide cone but it's wonderful it stuns them makes it easy for you to finish them off um, you can let me go ahead and charge it up again and I'm going to show you something that I personally like to do when I go ahead and stun uh, a nice big group of enemies you can only pin one enemy at a time but you still kind of bounce them around if you hit them with the shift you just get charged up again these bots that actually run away when they take damage because they fear death uh, as well as they should and one of my favorite things to do is when I have a nice big group of enemies just do that and then shift pin them with me just smack them like that I like doing that because you can't always guarantee that you'll kill them before they get up and if they're particularly pesky if they've been causing problems if they're just really really good you want to make sure you guarantee that kill get them out of the way uh, but yeah overall Reinhardt is a fantastic hero a lot of utility, a lot of an ability to stop your team from taking damage, and I've seen a, a crazy amount of plays that he can do. He can single-handedly take out enemy teams. He can charge in with his shift, he can use his ultimate, knock them all down, his wide arc on his weapon is able to do constant damage to the entire team if you can get them in front of you, and you're just able to wipe teams out. That being said, you are vulnerable when you're doing this. You can't obviously protect from your back if you get surrounded by multiple Gen if you Genji, a Tracer, and a Reaper just come at you. Reaper can just, you know, this shield is walkable through. You can just walk through it. It'll stop projectiles, but it's not going to stop a body from walking through in front. So it is a balance of knowing when to have your shield up, when to put it down, when to check your surroundings, and when to know you're just going to get overwhelmed. You just need to go all out and do as much damage as you can before you die. But, like I said, he is a lot of fun. He's a very strong tank. He's he's very good at being just a main tank. Um, him along with another tank, of course. I feel like the meta right now is is shifting towards having multiple tanks in your group because it lets your team more easily um, push ahead, especially on those types of objectives where you are pushing a payload. Uh, but he's just a lot of fun, and he has such a personality as well. He is an old man. He he has a wonderful uh, highlight intro, which is what happens when you win or you get a play of the game, uh, where he's stretching and he just you know gets out his back. It's it's hilarious. But anyways, that has been my quick guide to Reinhardt the tank, and he's a lot of fun. I really recommend you play him. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, Drop me a comment if you think I should change anything up. If you'd like to see something specific, I'll be doing uh, actual Overwatch matches once I finish this series. Uh, and I'll be showing how I like to switch out of heroes unless I'm winning a game and we're just raffle stomping a team. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a, enjoy this and I hope you have a wonderful day.